Welcome to Connection Corner. Last week, we talked about teasing versus bullying, recognizing bullying, what to do if you're being bullied, and what to do if you've bullied someone else. We also met Captain Compassion last week, and you may have seen his posters around school. This week, we're going to learn about being a bystander versus an upstander. Hi there! My name is Zed the Squarehead, and I know that there's a champion in every kid. Big kids, small kids, two-eyed, three-eyed, four-eyed kids, doesn't matter. There's definitely a champion in all kids, but sometimes we forget that. Sometimes a kid will try to feel cool or strong by choosing to be mean to those who are smaller or weaker than them. They might pick on people who can't do or say anything back. They might do it over and over, too. Have you ever seen that happen? Well, that kind of behavior is called bullying, and it's not cool. But you can do something to stop bullying as it's happening. If you know a few tricks, then you can actually choose to stop the meanness right in its tracks. You can choose to stand up to bullying, and you can be an upstander. Pay close attention to this scene. Here's the playground, and here's the bully who's trying to feel cool by picking on this guy, Tar. Now here's a bystander. A bystander is someone that sees bullying happen and doesn't know what to do. And back here, we have Ned. Ned's going to start off a bystander, but when the bullying starts, he does know what to do. He's going to choose to be an upstander. Ned's going to stand up to bullying. And when he does, he chooses from four upstanding options. One, be a buddy. When Ned sees Tar getting bullied, he shows Tar that he has a friend. Bullies aren't used to their targets having a buddy. It could change everything. Two, interrupt. When the bullying starts, Ned finds a way to interrupt. Here, he interrupts by asking Tar to come and join him at the electric ball hoop. When Ned interrupts, he gives Tar a reason to walk away from the problem. Three, speak out. This one takes tons of courage. Here, Ned faces the person who is bullying and says, that's mean, don't do that. By speaking out about what is happening, it shows that meanness is not welcome. It also gets other people to look and they might join as upstanders too. Four, tell someone. Whether it's during the bullying or after it, Ned's going to choose to tell an adult about it. This is not tattling because he's not trying to get someone in trouble. He wants to keep someone safe. It takes courage and hard work to be an upstander. But by being an upstander, you'll be an awesome friend to someone when they need it most. And the letters in Ned's name can help. N. Never give up on helping your school to be safe. E. Encourage others to be upstanders with you. D. Do your best with all the upstanding ways that you can use to stop bullying at your school. If you know the N, E, and D in Ned's name, you'll probably choose to be upstanding whenever you see bullying. When bullying takes place, You'll make a champion choice to be a buddy, or interrupt, or speak out, and also tell someone. If you do any mixture of those things when you see bullying happen, you'll go from being a bystander to being an upstander at your school. Today we learned how to activate your bystander power. Captain Compassion wants you to use your power too. This week you'll see even more posters around the school about how to activate your bystander power. And remember, we have a challenge this month. So those of you in kindergarten and first grade, remember to draw your pictures about what kindness looks like on your playground. And those of you in second grade all the way to fifth grade, we have kindness bingo. And I want to make sure that you put your name and your teacher's name on that paper so that we know who turned it in. That's all for Connection Corner this week. Remember, when we take care of each other, 
We all have the power to connect.